A small sap-sucking insect species is posing a threat to perhaps the most wonderful time of year. But is it too soon to add save Christmas trees to your wish list? With more, uh, more holiday talk in August and what tree farmers are worried about, here's Chris Campbell. We've dealt with invasive species before. A tiny little bug just discovered in western Michigan could pose a threat to the live Christmas tree season. The owners of Sloan's Christmas Tree Farm near Bothwell say there is time to prepare. So this bug, this balsam woolly, I can't even pronounce the last word, but the that bug in the States will probably take time to build if it does. And then by that time, people will have sorted out, what do you do with this thing? The balsam woolly adelgid was discovered by an arborist near Rockford, Michigan. The destructive insect feasts on furs and could decimate Christmas tree farms if left unattended. Again, so this is a very significant finding for us. Live Christmas trees were in high demand last year, and the same is expected this year. Officials say the next steps are to investigate, telling CTV News it's not known how or when the bug arrived or how severe things may be. At this point, I wouldn't say there's any cause for alarm, but it is definitely an insect of concern, and we will be taking it very seriously. We have heard about this for, uh, you know, 20 some years. Shirley Brennan with the Canadian Christmas Tree Association says this bug has been on the radar for a long time and that they do not want to see it arrive in Ontario. When we have to, we will take a very harsh and um, very rapid um, uh, way to be able to control it. Brennan says natural solutions are best, but notes tree supply is scarce in North America. We will quarantine an area so so that it doesn't go across the province. Droughts, floods and fires are all part of the equation in the tree biz. And now this invasive small bug on the other side of the border. Well, I think with the lineups up the border, the bug will have a lot of trouble getting through customs. So we expect it to be a few years before it gets here. <laughs> in Chatham, Kent, Chris Campbell, CTV News.